the down viewing mode of Humminbird's Mega Live Imaging, is perhaps the most valuable tool ever invented for vertical jigging. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. I have my boat positioned over a submerged wood pile. It's in about 12 feet of water or so. And as you can see from this um, Mega Live Imaging view, this wood pile's absolutely teeming with fish. Uh, it's really easy to see the bait fish that are congregating here. There are a bunch of really nice crappies swimming around. And there are some much larger fish as well, which I presume to be walleyes, based on the fish that we've been catching off of this piece of structure for the last couple of weeks. Now, the first thing you need to understand when you use Humminbird's Mega Live Imaging in this down viewing mode is where the objects are on the screen relative to the direction that the trolling motor is pointing. Now, I find it useful to divide the screen, at least in my head, into two halves, a right side and a left side. Anything that I see on the right-hand side of that down viewing uh, display is forward of the trolling motor, whatever direction the trolling motor happens to be pointing. And anything that's on the left-hand side of the display is behind the trolling motor. Again, no matter which direction the trolling motor happens to be pointing at that moment. Now, the next thing I want you to think about is how we can adjust the width of that mega live imaging down view. And by adjusting the width, what I really mean is adjusting the distance both forward and behind the trolling motor, or forward and behind the mega live imaging transducer that we're able to see on our live imaging down view. Now there are three kind of base settings that we can access in this down viewing mode for mega live imaging. And those are narrow, full, and wide. Now, as you might imagine, as we proceed from narrow to full to wide, we're gonna be seeing farther and farther out in front of and behind the trolling motor or in front of and behind the live imaging transducer um, as we make those adjustments. Now you can use these three down looking modes, narrow, full, and wide, to give you a broader view of what's nearby the piece of structure that you happen to be vertical jigging on without having to move your boat. Now I called those three modes, narrow, full, and wide, standard modes. But it's important to understand that the actual width of those standard modes is not something that's set in stone. Um, it's not based on the depth of the water, but rather it's something that you can customize by adjusting your down range. Now, no matter which of those three modes you happen to be in, narrow, full, or wide, if you increase your down range, the width of that live imaging down view is going to increase. And again, this is an opportunity for you to look farther out in front of the transducer, in front of the trolling motor, or behind the transducer, behind the trolling motor, to help you look for structure and look for fish. On the other hand, if you decrease your down range, right, if you pull that live image, pull the bottom all the way down towards the bottom of the display, the effect that's going to have on the width of your live imaging view is that the width is going to decrease. That's gonna let you tighten up your display, get the best possible resolution and clarity for objects that are basically right beneath the live imaging transducer. So be sure to keep them in mind the next time you're on the water or on the ice.